Last week, someone in California won over $400 million playing the Powerball lottery. The winning numbers were 1, 17, 35, 54, and 34 was the Powerball. I could have been rich if I had just played those numbers before the drawing. Microsoft stock was first offered on March 13, 1986, at $21 a share. I could have been rich if I had bought eh, $10,000 worth of stock and held on to it. Today, that investment would be worth about $3 million. The Daily News, some 50 years ago, paid $10 if they printed your most embarrassing moments in their newspaper. I could have been rich if I sent my life experiences to them and opened a bank account dedicated for their payments and just let the money compound with the interest. In the late 70s, when street fairs were a novelty, there was one being held on Flappish Avenue. It was outside Erasmus Hall High School. I recall it was a very hot July day. It was barely noon and I was working on a vanilla ice cream cone that was melting rapidly as I examined the offerings. I saw among the crowd my older sister, Tony, with a woman about her age. Tony, at that time, was working for a local paper, the Sheeps at Bay Courier. They both looked like they were covering the event. Tony waved to me and approached with a co-worker. Nick. I want you to meet. You know the advice about engaging your brain before you engage your mouth? Well, it's good advice. Uh -oh. Nick, I want you to meet. You know the story about Pandora's box? That once you open it, you can't put back what has escaped? Well, that's something worth considering. Nick. I want you to meet Anamona Hartacolis. I admit the sound came from my body, but it didn't seem like it was my voice. Sounds like a disease, I blurted. There was a sudden chill in the air, and it seemed like that bustling crowd went dead silent. That melting ice cream cone froze solid. I could have used it as a hammer. I thought my sister's fingernails were growing an inch or two. I do not remember what Anamona looks like or the rest of the day. Two days later, the call came. Nick, I want you, Mr. Brooklyn College, to know that Anamona is a Harvard graduate. I have seen her byline in the New York Times, and I went. But I could have been $10 richer. <laughs> Sometime afterwards, my union endorsed a full physical exam offered by a local hospital. I was given typed instructions to prepare for the physical. I know that when you gaze at this swelt, sophisticated silhouette, you would never think that there are certain gaps in my knowledge. Now, one of the instructions was to take Fleet's enema or three glasses of water with a tablespoon of salt. I didn't know what an enema was then. So I dutifully drank three glasses of water with a tablespoon of salt in each. We shuffled through various rooms in this long corridor, first to get weight and blood pressure checked, then to more elaborate examinations. In one curtain room, I was to get my first practice scope. The examiner was about my age, wearing a lab coat. I sensed for some reason that he was also a Vietnam veteran. Veterans, I guess we have this radar. Hey buddy, bend over and crack a smile. I did. How are you doing today, buddy? Okay. I just don't appreciate having to drink three glasses of water with salt. 
he tapped me on the shoulder to straighten it, to, and I straightened up. Buddy, you're supposed to put the salt solution in an enema bag. You're clean from the wrong end. <laughs> I guess I should count myself lucky that he didn't stick that proctoscope down my throat. The last station to visit was the EKG examination. In a darkened room sat a buxom Sophia Loren looking like, with a sultry voice and a beautiful smile. She said, pointing to a recliner, oh, take off your shirt and make yourself comfortable. It would have been a good idea for me to engage my brain before my hormones took over. I have never taken off a shirt so fast, but I didn't stop. At the sound and sight of my unzipping my trousers, she screamed, it's not that type of exam, just your shirt. Boy, did those electrode things she placed on my naked chest feel awfully cold. That day was a double header. I could have been $20 richer. I could go on and on. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Thank you.